to my channel. If you guys would like to see how to get this candy killer look for Halloween, please just keep watching. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is prime our skin for foundation. This is partially a beauty look, so I'm just going to cover up some of the redness and dark circles under my eyes. Starting with a white pencil, I'm going to sketch out my outline of the drips. If I mess up or change my mind, I'm just going to rub it away. This is much easier than trying to correct or take away water activated paint. Once you have everything the way that you want it to look, go in with water activated paint. I'm using kind of a bubblegum pink shade um, and just a paintbrush and I'm doing the outline first. Once you have the outline done, go in with a thicker paintbrush and uh, just start filling in the rest of the base. Then using concealer as an eye primer, I'm going to put this on both of my lids and just rub that in. Then I'm going to be putting a sheer wash of pink shadow on both of my lids. And then we're gonna keep building that up until we get kind of a brighter pink and then eventually going in with like a fuchsia shade right in the crease. Then we're gonna add just white shadow all over the lid. We're also gonna smoke out the lower lash line with black shadow and then smoke that out a little bit more with a pencil brush and kind of a purple shade. Once that paint is dry, you're gonna go over it again with more paint, which is gonna make it look more opaque and a little bit more of a brighter pink. Now I'm adding glue to my eyebrows, and this is just to make sure that no liquid latex or lash glue is going to pull out any of my brow hairs. Then we're gonna add the sprinkles. This part was really, really hard, and I had a big struggle trying to make this work. Um, eventually I figured out what worked and that was dipping the individual sprinkles in lash glue. Yeah, as you can tell, this sucks. <laughs> but I ended up putting the sprinkles in the lash glue with tweezers and then carefully placing it on my eyebrow. That way, th the more you mess with it, the worse it is. So place it on the brow and just be done with it. <laughs> Then adding white pencil to all of the places of the drips where I would naturally highlight. Um, and to each highlight, we're going to add a shadow later, so make sure that you do that. <laughs> then we're going in with that same fuchsia color we used on our crease, just adding a little bit more shading to the drops, make it look more three dimensional. Now this is the, the most important part of this whole look, aside from the sprinkles. Um, but it's the shading under where, where the shadows would be. And this is what's gonna give it that three-dimensional look. 
Um, going in with a matte brown eyeshadow in every place where there would naturally be a shadow. So in every little corner, every little kind of empty spot, I'm terrible at describing this. But from every place that we highlighted, also add a shadow to make it look really three-dimensional. Make sure that you do as much detail as possible. Checking it out and getting super excited because it's finally coming together. <laughs> okay, then we're going to take a white eyeshadow and we're just going to place that um, as like a brow highlight and blending that out with just that blending brush. Throw on some mascara, false lashes if you want to. those lower lashes and then if you want to add a little bit more shadow I kind of contoured with that pink shadow um, not necessary <laughs> but you can if you want to and then adding like a bubblegum pink lipstick and this is the completed look if you can stop here or if you're like me and you want to go for a little bit more of a gory look we're gonna do that next adding some cracks to the face um, just kind of random. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason to this. I just kind of started putting lines all over my face and it ended up looking okay. So we're just going to go with it. This is uh, black water activated face paint and then just a regular little brush I got from Hobby Lobby. Remember, this is a terrible idea. Don't do this. Um, but I actually did liquid latex and then waited for it to dry a little bit. I did sprinkles. It tasted terrible, so don't do that. Just use lash glue. <laughs> now, I wanted a drippy neck, but I've never done a drippy neck, so I didn't know really what I was doing. I was leaning the wrong way, so now the drips are all going down in the same place on my neck, but, you know, you learn as you go, so we're just gonna go with it. Then we're going to add some more purple paint. All I do is just add more water to the face paint. Um, make it really watery and then that'll give it the effect of obviously the drips. So putting on some pink paint. Then we're going to throw in some white paint. And then we're kind of going with the cotton candy theme here. Then comes my favorite part of this entire look, scab blood. You cannot go wrong with scab blood. Um, I'm just kind of putting it on the place where it looks like my face is cracking. I don't know, maybe it's like peeled back. Whatever, we're just gonna go with it. Then using um, a black stipple sponge, we're just kind of gonna make it look um, less perfect, you know, more messy. The more messy it is, the more realistic it looks. So kind of dragging whatever is left over on my face onto the rest of my face, if that makes any sense. This shit's super sticky too, by the way, so probably pull your hair back when doing this. Add some finishing touches and you're done. so much for watching. I hope you liked it. I had a blast creating this. I actually got some inspiration from Nicole Guerrero and Desi Perkins on this. So shout out to them. Thank you for being so awesome. 
Um, anyway, I really hope you guys like it. If you recreate something similar to this, tag me in it. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Like sweet and bloody tasted. <laughs> Drew just got home. He's gonna see the blood and he's gonna see the sprinkles and he's gonna hate me. <laughs>